Neil Diamond has Parkinson's disease and he's had to cancel his tour. I'm John Bowden from rockhistorymusic.com. The singer released the following statement just an hour ago. Legendary singer, songwriter, and performer Neil Diamond today announced his retirement from touring due to his recent diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. The onset of the disease has made it difficult to travel and perform on a large-scale basis, but will allow Mr. Diamond to continue his writing, recording, and developments of new projects. Based on his doctor's advice, the third leg of Diamond's 50th anniversary tour, set to land in Australia and New Zealand this March, has been canceled. It is with great reluctance and disappointment that I announce my retirement from touring. I have been so honored to bring my shows to the public for the last 50 years, said Neil Diamond. My sincerest apologies to everyone who purchased tickets. I plan to remain active in writing, recording, and other projects for a long time to come. He recorded the feel of Neil Diamond, his first in 1966, and more than 30 albums later, and that's not counting the eight live albums, including the iconic Hot August Night in 72, and there was also over 50 variations of his greatest hits best of packages. His top 10 albums include 1973 soundtrack to Jonathan Livingston Seagull, Serenade in 74, Beautiful Noise two years later, his style started changing to more of a middle-of-the-road sound in the mid-70s, but he still had top 10 charting albums like 1977's I'm Glad You're Here With Me Tonight, You Don't Bring Me Flowers from 78, September More in 79, and the soundtrack to The Jazz Singer, which he also starred in. And of course, it was Neil Diamond in the 60s. He had tons of hits, including Cherry Cherry, Kentucky Woman, Red Red Wine, and Sweet Caroline, among others. The following decade, he became one of the biggest artists on the planet with more top 10 hits, like Cracklin' Rosie, I Am I Said, Song Sung Blue, Longfellow Serenade, and his duet with Barbra Streisand, You Don't Bring Me Flowers. His biggest in the 80s included Love on the Rocks, Hello Again, America, and Heartlight. Growing up, I was a rocker, but I always appreciated Neil Diamond. It was actually Hot August Night and the album Serenade that made me stop and listen. In spite of myself, and I didn't listen to that type of music that much, I had to stop and take notice of Neil Diamond. I know he's still with us, and he will be with us for a while. But with this news, I just wanted to tip my hat a little bit to a life well-lived, and an unbelievable catalog that will live on forever. We wish him well. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. We'll have a logo at the end of this video of our sister channel, which is Rock History Book, where we do classic albums. We're going to be looking at Neil Diamond in the next few months, and we're going to have a huge poll on what you think the top Neil Diamond songs are. <laughs>